Hi, I wanted to talk to you about two diseases that many people suffer from, needlessly, I should say, needlessly. And I'm sure that you've heard of them before, but maybe not in this context. Um, one of them is the, uh, the Firenza, and the other one is the Worryitis. So it's basically the fear and the worry that we literally create into diseases that we dis-ease our bodies with. Now, I'm of course referring back to Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich book, and I'm way in the back. I'm in the epilogue. I'm in the last part of the book. And he talks about that worry is a state of mind based upon fear. So worry and fear just go hand in hand. You cannot disconnect them, basically. Why do we worry about things in the future? Why do we have that fear that something bad is going to happen? Well, one of the things that Dr. Hill points out is, is it's based upon the lack of decision. We cannot make up our mind what we want to do, where we want to go. So we're just all over the place. We don't have a specific route to go. We don't, specific, we don't have specific goals to go. And so we allow outside circumstances to influence our thought patterns. And as such, since we don't really know where we're going, we don't have a plan. And anything that comes upon our path is taken in. Any kind of economic little flare up is taken in as, wow, how would that affect our life? Well, if you have a goal, a specific goal with steps in a plan where you want to go, you don't react like a scared animal. You start to be a more responsible human being. You start to respond. You start to stop and think about what are the steps that I want to take, that I need to take to, to reach my goal. So the worry and the fear are then something that don't come in as easily. There's a bunch of fears that Dr. Hill talks about. He talks about um, the fear of death, the fear of lack of, of, of loss of love. He talks about the fear of old age. And it's all based on worrying and it's all based on lack. We want to turn that around because, you know, fear, wor worry, fear, it is giving off a, an energy radiation around us that affects our surroundings. It's not only settling in our subconscious, but it's, it's, it's for all the people around us, even at a distance. You have no idea how much energy can affect, especially negative energy, how that can affect people. So it's almost not really nice to your human fellow, to your human beings around you to, to worry so much. Um, it's interesting that he refers to the fact that even a dog and a horse know when you're afraid. Well, I used to ride horses and I wasn't the biggest on it. I was sort of, I was afraid. And you don't show the control. You don't feel the confidence. And a horse, literally, it senses it. It's your energy. And a dog, of course, you know that if you are scared of a dog, that it may bite you. The dog really reacts differently than when you're confident and you trust the dog and you just stick out your hand. The dog will not immediately bite it, uh, provided it's not some kind of a scary pit bull terrier that is out there to, to, to give you a bite. But um, the vibrations of fear... They pass from one mind to another. That's something to think about as well. So what does worry and fear do to you in your body? Well, it, it, it really it creates havoc in your body. All of your um, body parts, all of your organs can be affected by worry and fear. You can literally worry yourself sick. You can fear so much that you get totally bogged down that you are susceptible because your vibration is going very low that you catch any kind of bug that comes around because you set the door open for that you have no longer a high vibration that wards off anything that does not belong to you any kind of virus bacteria or whatever no you're just wide open and it all comes in so when people get sick 
you really have to look at what am I thinking? What am I worrying about? Do not worry about the future. It's also based on a lack of trust in the universe. Um, Eckhart Tolle has written a very good book about the power of now. He explains a lot that, you know, let's, let's put it this way. The past is history. The future is mystery. We only live in the now. So live in the now and don't worry about the future. Look at the future. Plan for the future. But don't worry about the future. Do not have the fear. If something is not going right today, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's continued to go wrong towards the future. You are living in the now, and at that moment you can make changes. You can, any second of the day, you can make changes. Don't worry. Instead of giving your energy to worry, why don't you spend that energy on talking to the universe or praying to the universe, whatever feels good for you, or meditate and then talk to the universe. It's the same kind of energy that probably helps you much more. So in wrapping up, the worryitis and the Firenza are diseases that only you can stop. Only you can determine when you put a line in the sand and say, no more, because you are making yourself sick and it doesn't really serve you. It's not going to get you anywhere. So look where you want to go. Create the goal. Think about it. Write out a plan and start taking the steps toward it, towards it. And if you want support, come on to the Think and Grow Rich call in the morning. Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Absolutely fantastic calls. About 400 people live on the call. We have no idea how many people are listening into the recording. Paul Hutchins um, is the one who started the call three years ago. He does an absolutely incredible job. Come on to the call. Telephone number is 712-432-0900. And then the pin code is 565762. I will put it down here below as well. So come on to that call. We support people. Um, we support each other. And it's a magnificent call. And it really gets you out of the worrying, out of the fear. Because we are talking about where we want to go. And we support each other. And we learn little bits and pieces of how we do it better. I look forward to hearing you on the call.